Honorable Judge Aya Glein, and ladies and gentlemen of the jury. This is not a case of third degree murder, but rather a case of misplaced blame. A rush to judgment, if you will. This misplaced blame has been put upon our client, T. Barry Olson. Miss Olson has been hastily and wrongfully accused of the murder of Miss Therese Jameson. On November 24, 2004, T. Barry Olson was just sitting at the counter of her small town cafe, The Terrible Towel, with good friend and meat deliverer, Sandy Wilbur, when an enraged Miss Jameson came barging in demanding her job back. Miss Jameson used to work for T. Barry before she was let go. There are a few rumors as to why Miss Jameson has been fired, uh, the most common one being that T. Barry Olson hates homeless people. Miss Jameson was homeless at the time she was hired and used her social worker's address to get a job at the Terrible Towel. Miss Olson did not know she was homeless until after she had fired her. As you will see later in the case when Exhibit 6 is introduced, T. Barry, um, this letter to the mayor's office nominating T. Barry for a Community Hero Award shows that there are many situations where T. Barry has substantially lowered the cost of rent for many people who live in the apartment she owns. She is purposely costing herself money so that people do not become homeless. In any case, Ms. Jameson was fired. She barged in demanding her job back, screaming at Olsen to get what she wanted. Danny, the victim's, daughter, the victim's child, was present at the time waiting outside the cafe. She claims to have heard Ms. Olsen threaten her mother, but she said she didn't hear anything else. Ms. Jameson had told T. Barry that if she didn't get her job back, she would expose T. Barry's secret of mixing horse meat in with the burger meat so that it would be cheaper. Ms. Jameson claims this was the real reason she was fired. However, this was the first time T. Barry Olson was aware that she was being accused of this. Now, I'm not sure how many people here have fired someone, but when they try to get their job back, being accused of something awful and untrue does not exactly make you want to hire them back. The only other witness present was Sandy Wilbur. When T. Barry refused to give Miss Jameson her job back, Miss Jameson asked to be let out the back so Sandy would not see her upset and sobbing. Sandy has stated that she saw Big Dog and his gang outside the cafe hanging by the dumpster at the time. Big Dog is the leader of a gang who normally hangs outside the terrible towel. He has a problem with homeless people and has had several problems with homeless people that stay outside the cafe. He has also had problems with Danny, the victim's child. A short time after meeting, a short time after the meeting between T. Barry and Miss Jameson, her body was discovered dead in the dumpster. We, the defense team, would like to make one more note. We understand that losing Miss Jameson is very is a very tragic event, especially for a young teen like Danny. However, this is no reason to blame her murder on T. Barry Olson. She had been nothing but kind to Miss Jameson and gave her more than enough chances to prove herself worthy.